Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Barry Beckham. I've opened up on screen here slideshow software PTE AV Studio 10. It's January 2021 and within the first or second quarter of this year you are likely to see a fully usable version of this software for Mac computers. What I'd like to do here is to use a varied amount of images from different folders. All of the images are high resolution. None of them have been cropped. I'm going to select about 20 images. I want enough images to last about three minutes because the piece of music I have set aside is three minutes and one second in length. So let's make a start and I'm going to select them by double clicking and count as I go. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's change to another folder. Twelve. 13, 14, 15, another folder, 16, 17, 18, another folder, 19, another folder, and 20. I'm going to select all of these with Control A. Down at the bottom, I'm going to go to Styles and Themes. Into the themes, I'm going to select the Ken Burns effect and apply. Now, what I'd like to do next is to go down to the timeline, bottom right corner. The only reason I'm going in here is to take a look at how long the slideshow is going to run. Looks like it's going to run a little longer than three minutes. So I may need to lose one of those slides to match it with a piece of music that I found, which is only about one second over three minutes. So I'm going to go back to my slide list here. I'll pick just one image to remove. It doesn't really matter which one. I'll pick this one here and delete. What I'm going to do then is go to my project options. And from the audio tab, I'm going to add an audio file. There's the piece of music. It's a YouTube audio library file, which means it's copyright free. There you can see the length. I'm going to open and OK and take a quick look into the timeline and see how everything matches up. That looks pretty good to me. If I put my cursor at the end there, right click and insert a blank, I can bring that forward a little bit. And what we've just done in the short time we've been working is make a fully completed slideshow. All we have to do is publish our show. Now let me do that by going to the top right of the screen, publish the show. I'm going to choose the HD option. I'm making a 1920-1080 HD video here. I'm using the default quality of high and 60p. But what I'll do is I'm just going to switch this to my desktop, make sure it saves there. And I haven't even created a project file or a name. So I'm just going to let it create the file. And I'm not going to keep my video running while it does this, but I'll be back in a few moments when it's done. Now I've just worked it out from the moment I started selecting images to the time I said we've just created a slideshow. It took just two minutes and 25 seconds. And if you look at the bottom of the MP4 panel here, you can see that PTE AV Studio took just 3 minutes and 11 seconds to make our final MP4. Now the reason for making this particular video is to try to demonstrate that if we want to put a slideshow together quickly and easily, there are ways we can go about that with PTE AV Studio. Now remember that none of these images have been cropped to fit the slideshow. 
They're all high resolution images and I've selected images from many different folders, which is probably not the most effective way of working. But I wanted to demonstrate that if we want to make things quick, simple and easy, but still end up with a worthwhile video, here's how we do it. The next thing you're going to see is the slideshow we've just created. So that's going to take marginally longer than it took us to create it. You have just viewed a genuine slideshow. What I mean is I haven't adjusted that show in any way off camera since we made it in this video in 2 minutes and 25 seconds. Of course this software is capable of far more than what we've shown here. But if we can make a top quality video in under 3 minutes just using the auto settings in PTE AV Studio you've got to admit it's a good place to start. Think about what you may be able to produce with a more hands-on approach. We can add multi-track audio, sound effects, commentary, music, and we can edit them all together within this software. We can add titles and credits. We can create unique animation, including 3D. We can add slide styles to enhance the presentation. As one photographer to another, this is worth your attention. This software is available for Windows-based computers right now at www.winsoft.com. It'll be available for Mac users very soon. Videos on all the more popular techniques with this software are available on my website 
or on my YouTube channel. If you're a photographer who's not considered this way to present your images, then you're missing something worthwhile. I've been using this software now for well over 20 years, and there's a good reason for that. It's very good, and it allows me to present my images to the world in the best possible way. I'll see you next time.